One of the coolest things that's come out in smart home technology over the last decade are these fancy robot vacuum cleaners. Now, ever since I was a kid, having to pedal around the vacuum cleaner, especially the Kirby that we had, which weighed like 4,000 pounds, this is a breath of fresh air in most homes. And the great thing about it is you can use it simply with a remote control or now with voice activated commands using your Google Assistant or Alexa. So pretty cool. Every time I see these things, it reminds me of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids with the remote controlled lawnmower that the dad was using. Well, it's just like that, except now it's in your own home. And Yuffie has made this latest and greatest model, the 15 C Max, with more suction power, more on time than ever. And it looks cool while it does it. So let's take a closer look at the 15 C Max. <music> Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with a review of Eufy's latest and greatest RoboVac, the 15C Max. There's been quite a few changes with this model, but they're all for the better. They've lowered the price, the MSRP straight out the door price is $219. In addition to that, they gave it more suction power than ever, bumping it up to 2000 PA of suction power over 1500 in the previous models, even the 30 and 35C. And on top of that, you get voice enabled support for your Google Assistant or Alexa, and you can use Wi-Fi enabled support so you can use the Eufy Home app, which is a really, really cool option as well. Getting right into things, the RoboVac has four different distinct cleaning modes. This one that you're seeing here is spot cleaning mode. What it does is it does this concentric circle, uh, getting bigger and bigger as it goes around and around so you can get it to clean one particular area, it does this for two minutes, and then it'll beep and then it'll stop and you can move it to another area or you can start a different mode like edge clean. This is edge clean. What this does is it finds the nearest edge and it'll follow along the edges for 20 minutes. So if you start this in the kitchen, you start it in a room, it'll find whatever the closest edge is and you see it does this little bump and move, bump and move thing using the sensors and the bumper together to detect where this, the wall is and continue to follow it until it gets to the end. It does that for 20 minutes. Now the other two modes that it has are auto mode and single room mode. Single room mode does a combination of angles and edges and other things for a total of 30 minutes. And then once it reaches a 30 minute timer, it'll automatically head back to the charging base. And then auto mode is just a more elaborated mode. It'll go, it'll do a various combination of stuff as it cleans the rooms, it optimizes its route as it drives. It doesn't have mapping. It's not one of the super elite expensive ones that has the mapping feature where it knows where it went already. This one does a combination of bouncing off of walls and the angles and detects its cleaning path so that it can clean it in the most optimum way possible. Uh, switching between different suction modes and different types of cleaning. So those are the four different modes. It does have three different fan speeds. So you have standard mode, boost IQ mode, and max mode. And those are indicated by one beep is standard, two beeps is boost IQ, three beeps is max. Boost IQ is probably where your most money is going to be at because what it does is it detects uh, the thickness of the carpet. It detects what it's driving through if there's a whole bunch of of stuff on the floor and it will adjust how much suction power it needs to use so that it can clean optimally. And then you can hit the home button, this little, this little charging cord looking button on the remote and it'll make it go back to base. So whenever it does that, it'll stop whatever it's doing and it'll find the path to get back to the charging dock. So really cool. And then whenever it's driving, if it runs out of battery power and it gets low enough, it'll automatically go back to base on its own, as you can see here. So all I did was just hit the, the home button and ta-da, it goes right back, lines everything up and it docks and it starts charging again for the next cleaning cycle. All right, so if you're worried about this falling off the stairs or you know going over a, a sharp edge somewhere in your house and falling off, it won't do that. The sensors on it are actually really good. You can see here, it just keeps hitting the edge. It'll turn, adjust its path and start driving again. And then it hits another edge then it'll keep doing the same thing. So you can put this on top of your table, your countertop, whatever. It's not going to fall off. You're perfectly safe. In addition to being able to use the standard remote control, this one also has the Wi-Fi enabled support and the Eufy Home app, which you can get either on Android or on Apple, your choice. And then you can control the RoboVac from there. Uh, you can see the original buttons there. It showed the four different options. And then you can go into the schedule. Schedule mode, you can set it up for every day of the week. Unfortunately, it's limited to one time per day. You can't set it up for multiple ones. And the other um, shortfall is that it will use the previous cleaning mode that you use. So if it was uh, auto mode, it'll do that. If it was uh, quick clean or if it was 
uh, edge clean, it'll go and it'll do that. So you want to make sure you leave it off on the appropriate cleaning mode that you want for your schedule. Now, very easy, not a whole lot to it. The app is very straightforward and simple to use. You have the find button down there in the event that you're not sure where your RoboVac is. It'll sing its little chime and let you know, hey, here I am. Come and get me. All right, so one other thing I want to show you is how to set it up with your Google Assistant. I don't have Alexa, so this is what you'll have to look at here. If you have Google Assistant, go in, set it up, add a device. You'll scroll down until you, until you see the Eufy Home app. Once you find the Eufy Home app, you'll go ahead and press on that. And then what it's going to ask you to do is log in. I've already logged in previously. It has my information saved. But if you didn't, it's going to pop up and ask you to use your login information. And what that does is it allows you to link your RoboVac and your app to your Google Home so you can use the Google Assistant with it, which is really nice. Also, make sure you have your Eufy Home app set up first. You can't go in and set it up on Google Home if it's not set up on the Eufy Home app first because it has to connect the account and link it to the Eufy Home app so you can use it. But after you do that, uh, you're good to go and then you can use your voice commands as illustrated here. Okay, Google, tell RoboVac to start cleaning. Sure, let's get RoboVac. Can you please say the name of the RoboVac you want to use? You have Jarvis and RoboVac. Jarvis. RoboVac Jarvis starting cleaning session. Okay, Google, tell RoboVac to stop cleaning. All right, here's RoboVac. Can you please say the name of the RoboVac you want to use? You have Jarvis and RoboVac. Jarvis. RoboVac Jarvis stopping cleaning session. Okay, Google. Tell RoboVac to return to base. Okay, let's get RoboVac. Can you please say the name of the RoboVac you want to use? You have Jarvis and RoboVac. Jarvis. RoboVac Jarvis returning to charging base. All right, so that's all I have on the Eufy RoboVac 15C Max. You can pick it up for $219, which is the best deal that Eufy has yet on the RoboVacs, especially with the Wi-Fi and voice support and the enhanced suction power. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section. I'll get back with you. And as always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.